Ahoy mates! Aloha, happy travelers! Welcome back on board the Pride of America. We are here at our last Hawaiian island stop, Kauai, for an overnight stay. So we'll be here today and tomorrow. Lots of fun to get into. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our final island, Kauai, begins right now. Check it out. Over there, there's some people surfing. Catching some sick waves on a Hawaiian roller coaster ride. Look at all these mountains. They're everywhere and they're so green. And you wanna hear a fun fact? This was the island that Lilo and Stitch was based off of. Here we go, new day, new island. Welcome to Kauai. I promise you it'll get much prettier than this. So right when you come through this building that you pop into right when you get off the ship, there are signs that say if you want to walk to the beach, the shopping, hotel, you can go this way. And also, if you want to take a shuttle to pick up your rental car, you can go this way as well and take that shuttle over. Now, the rental car shuttle is only if you are renting through Avis or Budget, which we are not. So, Matt has headed up that way to get a lift to take him to the rental to pick up the car. So, we're just gonna walk up this way so we can get to the pickup spot for him to pick us up and we can get on our way. So, there's the ship right there. I believe this is the building where we're gonna meet Matt, that brown building, and it's called Kauai Athletic Club. So that's where we're gonna go and meet him. Oh, uh, there's one of those uh, rental car shuttles. If you have Avis or budget. But since we do not, we're walking. That's okay, good exercise. Hey mister, going my way? Let's do it. And we are on our way. And our first destination today is going to be Waimea Canyon, which is considered the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. So it should be very, very beautiful. But speaking of beautiful, we have a gorgeous drive that we are on from Nawili Willy, which is where we are ported at, to Waimea Canyon. It's going to be about an hour drive, but it is like some of the most lush landscape I've ever seen in my life. Kauai is considered the garden island of the Hawaii Islands, and I can see why. There's so much greenery and it's absolutely beautiful. We stopped at a lookout on the way over and holy smokes. That is something. Okay, we stopped like just, I don't know, a quarter of the mile up the road and look, there's a little waterfall. I climbed over the top here. I wanted to see what it looked like and also show you. You can see the different paths when there's additional rainfall and extra water flowing through. It kind of cuts through in all these different angles. Passes on down and heads down the mountain. And there's actually not a bad view going back the other way. There's the road there. And then you can see out all the greenery. And then beyond that, the ocean. Mr. Rooster and hi mama and chickies chick, chick, chick. they say welcome to Waimea and to park at all the overlooks for the day at the Waimea Park it's going to be $10 per vehicle and then $5 per person in the vehicle but that lasts you all day for all the lookouts so just get this once and you'll be good to go Here we go. Grand reveal. Wowza. The Grand Canyon of the Pacific. I think probably the most impressive thing is just all the color. Brown, black, green, orange, red. Stunning. It's gonna be fun. 
like a river flowing riverbed at least down there at the bottom kind of surprised it's not like super windy up here every so often there's a bit of a breeze but it's not other parts of hawaii we've been to have been much much windier of course there's another way to go to canyon right there get to the chopper that's all right come on i'm here you bred raptors now we have been to the actual Grand Canyon before and it is magnificent, but I have to agree, this place is called the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. I think it competes with it, for sure. Pulled into the next marked overlook area and of course the parking and entrance fee that we already paid earlier at the last one covers us for this one. Even though I can't see the waterfall here, I can hear it. I can hear water rushing and falling at some point. And over here on the ridge, see the people hiking you can access the trail from here. We're being hunted. Have a girl. Here at our next lookout, the Nihau viewpoint. It looks like Nihau. Oh, it does look like Nihau. I don't think that's what it's meant to be, but we're going to that viewpoint up of that away. Oh, and before we go, just a heads up, there have been bathrooms at each of these um, lookout spots, but just keep in mind this is a state park, so it's not like the best smelling bathroom in the world or the cleanest, but I mean, it's there in case of an emergency. Nice overview here on the side of the booth of the different trails they have, as well as the map of the entire park and how everything is laid out. We found another lookout that we're gonna check out. And I think we're in the clouds again, which is kind of cool. And look at all these pretty hydrangeas. I've never seen so many hydrangeas in my whole life. They're gorgeous. I don't know what we're gonna be overlooking because it's like gorillas in the mist over there. Minus the gorillas, of course. So apparently this is what you're supposed to be able to see, but that's what it looks like right now. No worries on the view today though, because this is what we are sailing down tomorrow, the second half of the day once we depart from the Willy Willy. So we'll see it from the ocean side of things. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so many potholes. Uh. <laughs> the last lookout. Well, it is a bit too foggy out where the outlook is, but we can see a little bit over towards the canyon. Not much though, but like Matt said, we'll get a better view that away tomorrow when we sail down the coast. Well, we've seen pretty much everything we could see here at Wamiya, so we are making our way back down. Welcome to the little town of Hanepepe. Yes, Hanepepe, and as I mentioned earlier, this town was the inspiration for the town area in Lilo and Stitch, which we will see evidence of right over here. So just off the intersection of Kona Road and Hanepepe Street, we turn around, and there's the Lilo and Stitch mural. Come on, Lilo and Stitch. I can see the resemblance to the movie. It's like a cute, quaint little town. I like it. Town, it's a quiet village. That is the wrong movie. Every day, like the one before. It's still wrong. I I'll only accept if you say bonjour like Stitch. Bonjour! <laughs> and while we're stopped, why not get a little shaved ice? I'm nicknaming Kauai the Chicken Island. 
They are everywhere, everywhere we go. When we're in the state park, when we come down the road, when we're in the towns, when we're near the cruise port, rental car place, at the airport, chickens everywhere. Here is my masterpiece. I got strawberry, I got guava, I got pineapple, and I'm even trying it. You can't see it, but there's vanilla ice cream on the bottom. When in Rome, right? When in Hawaii, you try fun shaped ice. I wanted the lemonade, but they were out. So I went with one of their things they call a freezy, which you pick one of the shave ice flavors and they mix it with milk and vanilla ice cream. So I did strawberry and it is quite delicious. Last thing we want to check out in this town is the swinging bridge. Here we go. Ooh, this bird right here is like green and yellow. Oh, there's another one. Had a lean to it. And not a bad view to be had from this here bridge. And made it to the other side. One final note on the town here, our Lyft driver that took us to the airport for our rental car earlier told us that this town gets hopping on Friday nights. They have a big art thing going on. You can see Friday at art night, no parking, three to nine. So if you wanna see some art, come on down on Friday. We're on a, here on a Thursday, so it is dead zone. Just down from the Lilo and Stitch mural, they have a Lilo and Stitch photo opportunity here where you can stick your face in and it's Lilo, Stitch, and I forgot the sister name. I know it starts with an N. And chicken guy, Guy Fieri's chicken restaurant, a piranha in the ocean, a little gecko, a cat that looks like a centipede, Spike from Rugrats, and apparently David has become ridiculously buff and blonde hair as well. So a little bit of a change there. That's right, come on, let's surf. I want to go. Welcome to my top bunk. <laughs> That's the new MTV show. Forget Cribs, it's the top bunk. Welcome to my top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is going to do it for us here today in Kauai. And actually, we've had a change of plans. As we mentioned earlier, we are here overnight. Mm -hmm. And so we were planning on going out tomorrow as well. Decided to scrap that. The family decided we're going to take our time, just kind of relax, get packed up, things like that, before we sail down the Nepali coast tomorrow so we can enjoy that. Right, because that's supposed to be so beautiful. I'm really excited for it. So we'll go, we'll get like a good spot on deck and like we can enjoy that and it'll be great. So we dropped off our rental car early and we're calling it, but it was it was a great day. Again, this whole trip has been amazing. We've loved every island. Everything we have done has been like top of the list in terms of what we've done cruising wise. And that's saying a lot. Yeah. So I uh, highly, highly recommend coming out on a Hawaiian islands cruise. Norwegian Pride of America is here year round. That's why we're on this one. Mm -hmm. It worked for our family's time schedule. But of course, Disney Cruise Line does come to Hawaii sometimes, Royal Caribbean, etc etc so you know all that stuff if you want to come on the hawaiian islands cruise well make it happen as travel agents it's completely free to you we never charge anything so feel free to reach out via the travel agent information you can find in the description of this video but with that said i think we're going to sign off for tonight we will see you back down here tomorrow yeah. on board the ship as we sail down the nepali coast but until then have a good night and happy, happy travels, travels.